Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott, these are the inverts, and in this video you'll see some more inverts as we head over to the Eastern Invertebrate Show. Now this show is put on over in Peterborough. It's had a change of venue. Um, we absolutely enjoyed our day. So I'm gonna show you some show foot footage, and after that I'm gonna bring you right back here to the Scott's Invert Spider Crack Shack to show you guys exactly what we bought. Anyway, for now, let's go check out the actual show itself.
lanes I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Again, I got tired eyes, need a cup of blend That's right, in the AM, that's my only friend No light, just the sun coming up on the horizon I lose track of time, yeah, I move fast and climb A new class divine, yeah, true passion shines And I'm through passing time, I choose second dimes You snooze half the time while I move passing by uh. I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I gotta vent better against people who patent it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been doing you, I've never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I'm gonna learn the consequence of being incompetent. Mental health is confidence, dreams and some honestness. I'm not here to save the day, that's for you to take away. I could play a million mind games, but instead I say something not illogical, something that is topical. Rub it on and watch it. So that was the actual video footage of the actual show and the day. To everybody that come over and said hello and wanted pictures and all the rest of it, thank you so so much. After the break in and everything, it was I can't tell you how much that day or today was was needed by me and my wife. Tara came along too and she also had an absolutely amazing day. So thank you guys. Really, really do appreciate you. Um, so what we got from the Eastern Invert show. Now the wife 
she is not in the video because she won't take it off but she bought one of the dave's little beasties hoodies um one of the new ones with the dave's little beasties down the side in green a um, little zip up jobby so that's what she bought um as well as some isopods but i'll show you those in a second now this is a little bit different kind of a presentation to what i normally do normally the cameras flip round and you're kind of looking down but I just thought make, make it a bit more interactive now marina unfortunately for us is actually moving abroad um, and I say unfortunately for us because she is a lovely lovely lady she normally you'll find her either working for the invert shows it shows or working on spa spiders with Luke and his dad um, so she's chosen to leave the country and move abroad um, which is uh, a bit of a bit of a bummer for everybody in the hobby she did do some real wonderful talks at the shows but she gave me one of these um, from our own collection so this titus uh, beetle larvae we're going to be growing here right here at scott's inverts and hopefully get to see it in its adult form now what else did we pick up or what did i buy well we bought and i want you guys to kind of think about this one we bought <laughs> we bought one in the pink <laughs> two in the stink <laughs> so I want you guys downstairs to think about <laughs> can't even say it <laughs> so I want you guys in the comments to have a little think about what could be in this mystery box <laughs> one in the pink two in the stink <laughs> Oh my god, uh, so we're going to do another video <laughs> all about this one and we're going to unbox it in that video. <laughs> but it made me chuckle and for the for the adults of Wonkers, you'll know exactly why that made me laugh. But that's why I bought it because I looked at it and it just made me smile. Um, <laughs> so, the good stuff. We didn't take a lot of money with us because um one of the reasons was obviously we've added bits to that security system that we've now got in place but also i've also ordered um an adult female off kevin bigley but we did manage to get quite a few little pieces so this is the kilimanjaro mustard um baboon it's actually a kilimanjaro mustard baboon bought from the spider shop terinoculus cordatus now I'm hopefully this is this is where me doing it this way goes to pot but just look at that that is absolutely gorgeous this was 20 quid I mean cast your mind back to a couple of years ago for oh no you don't for a spider a cordatus of that size you would look at it around 60 quid so for them to come down in price right down to 20 i'm really impressed very very impressed um i've got to say actually when it comes to prices and stuff like that everybody across the board at the moment if there's a lot in the hobby the price comes down um instead of the price staying as it, it as it was quite expensive so i think us as buyers we really appreciate you guys kind of adjusting your prices with the quantities that are out there now oh that's a nice one we'll save that one for last we also got a Koshnia um, Barunipes female, which is one of the one of the smaller spiders, one of the dwarfs. But she, if you can see her, is just there, looking absolutely beautiful. Look, she will not, she will not get much bigger than that. Um, I know it looks like a manhandler in, in in this in this pot, but we will be rehousing her this evening. But for 15, 15 quid. Oh, that was an absolute bargain. Now, oh my word! Let me just move that to there. The wife went and got some juveniles, Cubarius, a pack chung times 10 and four through for free. She seems to think there's a lot more in there. This was from Jenny. So Jenny, uh, Jenny Wu Spoots, 
uh, which is Jenny Gosling over on Facebook. There's a lot of the true spiders. I didn't catch up with her, which I, I'm really disappointed uh, because she was in a different room kind of thing. But the wife has got those, so she got, this is literally how they look. The wife's got the red version and she's got about 80 of them breeding well, but she hasn't got these, so she went and got these ones. Um, so that is pretty cool. The wife absolutely loves isopods like you would not believe. Um, we also, spider shop again. Boom, another huntsman. And if you know me, and if you've been following the channel, you've known I like my Huntsman. I've been keeping them for, oh, around six years. Uh, this is a Heteropoda Ping Tung Ennis. 12 quid for a, for, for a Ping Tung. No, it's not. It's a Ping, Ping Tung Genensis. Genesis? Heteropoda Ping Tung Genesis. Do you reckon that's right? Heteropoda. I shall show you it. It's a little bit better right there. Beautiful spider. Looking forward to watching that one do a few takedowns. Anything where it says Huntsman, you know it's going to be an extremely fast spider. Um, but you also know because by the shape of them. So if they've got these legs that are like forward facing, like even if they come off the sides like this one, they kink back and then come straight forward. That's no normally an indicator that that spider is exceptionally fast, especially like, well, that, that statement actually refers to the true spiders. So these, where they come down and they come forward. So forward facing legs, super, super fast spider. Uh, <laughs> but we also got, those two we went over to see phil from incredible inverts and other animals we've had phil on a couple of lives you know we absolutely love him uh, but we have a sixth pair of atlas moth cocoon cocoons so we have two of these now i'm not quite sure how you sex them at this age um but i'm pretty certain is it something Oh, I see. Oh, I see. That's how. So, I think that would be the male, and this one would be the female, just purely on the sides. When these hatch out, the females are kind of like this, and then the males are a lot smaller. So, judging on those two cocoons, with this one being a fair bit smaller than the other, I wonder if that's what they've gone off. Although they are both open, so I'm going to take a quick look. Yeah, the pupae inside. Look, let's, let's see the pupae? The pupae inside. That one's significantly larger than what this one is. I didn't cut these, Phil did, and it, this is completely normal. Breeders do it all the time. And that one is significantly smaller. So I'm kind of guessing that's going to be the male. Now we have got another two, two items to show you. Now, I don't know if you remember the 50 pound, no, 50, the 150 pound mystery box that we got from Kevin Bigley. And one of the big spiders in that was the Idrapalma Hirostrium, which is just there. Well, the spider shop had, or maybe still have got, the um, Iridnapalma Oliveria. Uh, for 60 quid so I was like if you're from the same family um, you're gonna be just as beautiful if not better looking than the Hydrostatum so I had a proper look at this one and she is or he is absolutely beautiful so it was 60 pound and there he is or she is or now this is going to be a little bit difficult but look how beautiful that spider is absolutely stunning um 
And then, can you see the little blue pads? No, you don't quite show you. We have another. Oh yeah, you have to kind of. We see. Oh, another pad. It doesn't pick it up on the on the on the camera, unfortunately. But when you look at these, the the pores of of these of this tarantula, and you kind of move it around slightly, it kind of flashes blue at you. So I haven't kept this species before. And to be honest with you, I've got no idea what this looks like as an adult. Um, so we'll do a little bit of research and we'll find out. I know it's an arboreal species because of the genus that it comes from. Um, but yeah, 60 quid. Again, you know, a thought after spider. Going for a reasonably decent price. Very, very happy. Um, now with this one, this is the last one, by the way. I know what you're all going to say. You're gonna say, thought you had one of those before, it died in a mole, you said you'd never do it again. And I did. I did say I'd never do it again. But I was chatting to a couple of friends and they were like, Scott, you, you were spraying it once a week. Why don't you try spraying the web every other day? And one of my friends pointed out the fact that the actual spider passed away in, in a malt. And truth be told, we, we don't really know why it passed away in that malt. Was it moisture? Was, was it humidity, sorry? Was it temperature? Was it this? Was it that? We can't put our finger on it. So we thought we would try again with a uh, Trichnophilia um, species question mark, which is one of the giant orb weavers. And it does look like, does look like it's gonna be the golden the golden one but let me just show you lot. so what we're going to do with this one that makes it look a hell of a lot bigger than what it actually is what we're going to do with this one again is release it inside here we have an enclosed space so that's completely fine to do um, it can't get out boom there it is so it can't get out of here. Just look at the patterns on that abdomen. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, so it can't actually escape from in here. So we're gonna set it up in here again. Let it go free roam inside this building. Um, it, this is literally everywhere sealed, so it can't get out. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed. This time we can get it all the way to adult hood. And if we do, um, happy days. I'm gonna be spraying it a little bit more often than what we did with the other one. Now, a cool thing the spider shot would do in this time was doing these. Boom. And it gives you all the details on the back. Now, this, these are helpers plant 10,000 meters of wildflowers for pollinating insects. So you can pick these up from the spider shop at the shows I got this packet for free. Um, and let me just tell you what it says on the back. So it says, use this wildflower seed mixture to attract bees, butterflies and other insects. Wildflower seed mix is designed to provide maximum pollen and nectar, creates a beautiful meadow and wildlife habitat. Contains 24 species from the RHS, perfect for pollinators list. Also includes borage and sanfoin to encourage wide range of pollinating insects. Inclusion of annual species provides colour in the first year, plus the yellow rattle. Perfect for creating a long lasting meadow and wildlife habitat. So between March and November and one single packet is enough for one square metre. Do you think I'm putting this in my garden? No. I'm going to go out and I'm going to find a little area that's by the side of a road maybe. Maybe it's like a little wooded, wooded area, just somewhere out in nature where there doesn't seem to be a lot of plants going on. These are all from the UK, so I'm going to spread them across one of the square metres and I'm going to see what goes on. Now we can plant these between March and November, so 
it's what almost October so we're gonna go and plant these I've actually got five packets so that means I can do five square meters um, and then we're gonna go back there maybe maybe in the springtime to see if they've actually started um, the germinating and coming through and then we'll follow them into the summer as well I'm gonna take the kids out we're gonna we're gonna do a couple of packets with the kids I'm gonna spread a couple when I'm out in the car somewhere and then just keep going back you know those little isolated areas where you know that nothing else really is growing there maybe it's you know one of those little patches of areas that's not going to be built on or destroyed in any way that's a little bit safe because it's so so important to make sure that we focus on keeping these bees alive in the uk because if we don't then we have no food production no food production well you know what that leads to anyway guys it's been an absolutely fantastic day and like i said especially after like at least last week's shenanigans um we really needed the break and today it came it was such such a relief to just literally have so many friends at the show around us making new friends as well if you came and said hello to me like i said thank you so much really really do appreciate it all anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you're around for this Thursday's video at 7 p.m. which is what in the pink doing the stink and it still makes me smile <laughs> hopefully you'll be around for that unboxing um, and then in the meantime tomorrow which is Tuesday the 1st of October we have sight from the bug room coming on now for the whole of the live stream so will be doing a 20% discount for his website which is the bugroom.co.uk um, so while the lives on we'll pop out a code which you can use and it'll be active for the whole of that period while we're live we're also going to chat to Sai about his hobby, why he started the book room and maybe kind of where his actual hobby originates from and how he got originally into it all. He is an absolutely lovely guy, a um, <laughs> little bit nervous, um, but he'll do fine. It'll be a really interesting evening. So if you are around Tuesday, 1st of October, 8 p.m., please pop along to the live stream. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, we shall see you again on the next one.